Is are we in a bear market? Yeah, you know, it looks like we are seeing more signs of optimism that we actually may be going through a period of stabilization and perhaps a bottoming process. And the reason we say that is yesterday's, yesterday's inflation report actually provided a bit of um, optimism, relief, of course, for the markets. But what we saw in there was an inflation print that came in below expectations, even as energy prices were higher, even as shelter and rent prices were sticky. And so that means that some of the forward-looking indicators that we're seeing in inflation around housing, rent, but also around things like ISM prices paid for both manufacturing and services, supply chain pressure indices, all are moderating. And so if the leading indicators of inflation are showing signs of easing, there is a case to be made that uh, yesterday's print was the start of a trend lower. And in fact, when you look at history, when inflation is elevated and starts moving downward, it does take some time, takes about 12 to 24 months to reach that trough level. But when it starts to move downward, it does so pretty consistently. And so if we are in that environment where, you know, one print doesn't make a trend, but if we get two, three prints lower, um, that really does alleviate that pressure, obviously from the Fed, uh, but of course gets us on that path towards a more sustainable recovery ahead. So, uh, you know, we've moved pretty far up pretty quickly, so some volatility may be likely, but there is a case to be made that we're in for a bottoming process ahead. So if you're right, then how do you play what you think Jay Powell is going to do as a function of this? I made the argument I think he's going to stick, I mean, at least at least next next month, uh, he'll, he'll, he's going to stay, I think, at 75. But, you know, I know that other people think it would be 50. Um, and then, you know, then the big question is, what do you think happens afterwards? And the market's always trying to figure out what's going to happen before it happens. Yeah, uh, that's a great point. I think that's the key one, actually. We do think next, uh, the next meeting in December, he's likely to move at a slightly more gradual pace. But keep in mind, 50 basis points, still a very elevated uh, rate hike by any means, if you look historically. Uh, we do think that the market and the Fed seem to be converging around this five to five and a quarter percent terminal rate. And I think that's where the Fed is headed. So, you know, that, that process of raising rates to the terminal rate does create some uncertainty and volatility in markets. But if you look beyond that, in fact, um, historically, when you do get peak Fed and that peak terminal rate in place, the 12 months after that are pretty positive and, and pretty resilient for markets. In fact, the S&P is up on average close to 16 percent. And so we are setting up towards this backdrop where as we head towards a peak in rates, both for equities and the bond market, um, that's a pretty nice backdrop to be in as we head into the year ahead. So we're, we're hopeful that uh, both bond and, and equity investors can see a little bit of, of rebound um, and this U-shaped recovery as we move towards the next 12 months.